to have your business grow, you need to sell something. Or just to have the energy to keep going, wouldn't it be nice to have some money come into your business? Or at least some engagement. People are saying that they're interested in your services or programs. So this is for those of you who already have some pro product, service, program that you like to sell or you have sold in the past, and maybe you haven't been announcing it on a regular basis, or you are delaying your next launch because you feel like you haven't posted content yet or haven't posted content regularly. You haven't sent a, an, an email newsletter to your subscribers in a long time. So how can you just send an email to them announcing your current service or your upcoming program or event? And, or maybe you feel like your website's a mess and you need to you know, modify your website more before you can do something. So let's talk about that. I, I really feel like these are limiting beliefs. And I have seen my clients tell me this over the years that, oh, I have to upgrade my website first. I have to, you know, send some, some, I have to post some content on social media first. I have to send some email newsletter first before I can announce my service or my program or my event coming up. And it's just not true. And it might come as a surprise to you, but I'm going to tell you this. You don't even or ever have to post a single word of content to be able to sell and sell successfully also. Now, I know I, I, it might be a surprise to some of you to hear this because if you watch my videos, you know I always am emphasizing the importance of consistent, authentic content and putting it out there, showing up on a regular basis. But that is a long-term strategy. And I always say that creating content, free content, is not a client-getting tool. Obviously, in the long term, or sometimes in the short term, you get client inquiries when you put content out there. But content creation is, to me, it's more about the privilege of exploring yourself and your experiences and your skills on the one hand, and the opportunity to serve humanity on the other hand, regardless of anyone ever buys from you. That's so important because then there, there's no purity of heart and people can sense that when you're putting content out there, like, oh, I'm just trying to put this to sell something, but no, self-exploration, inner exploration and outer service. That's the, that's the uh, authentic content strategy with natural occurrence, natural result that people will, you, your, your reputation will spread and people will want to learn more about you. But this is a long-term, content is a long-term strategy. It's not, it's not a strategy for you to get clients next week or maybe even next month or for you to say, oh, I'm going to post content first and then launch something. This has been such a common I, and I, a strategy that I really don't like. It's been a common product launch formula or you know, selling formula for a long time. You just post content for a few weeks and then you sell. You post content for a few weeks and then you sell content on the thing that you're going to sell. It's like related to the thing you're going to sell. And it's just, it ties the act of creating no longer generously. It's an act of creating with ulterior motives. It's tying the act of creating to I'm going to ask you something soon to do something back for me. It's, it's very um, attached to results and it's the opposite of unconditional love. And I know that's a strange phrase to bring into business, but why the heck not? You know, this is, this is the, the life we want to live. An authentic life is what, one that is deeply connected, infused with our highest values in every moment. So why couldn't we bring unconditional love into business? Yes. So when you're posting content, it's unconditional love if you can, it, because then it makes it really authentic and really service-oriented. And when you sell, it's also unconditional love to say, I have put together something that I really believe is good for th those of you who are looking at this, or for some of you who are looking at this. And if you do, I'd love to, to serve you. If not, 
thank you for for your time for looking at this no worries at all no pressure no pressure right so back to my original premise here you please stop feeling guilty about not posting content consistently i think it might be my fault right because you watch my videos and then you feel guilty about not posting con consistently like oh i can't be as consistent as george i'm still working up to that yes you are still working up to it you're still working up up to shedding your perfectionism and um being willing to show up uh, you know as yourself and and um taming the inner critic you're still working up to it i understand so don't feel guilty about not doing it yet you can still sell every day not maybe not every day well if you want to you could sell every day it's true you could post every single day you could post about your services on social media now people might eventually you know you soon stop to follow you right but um but posting about your service once a week or certainly you know once every other week posting about your service your upcoming program your upcoming paid event or free event whatever is not it's fine you don't ever have to write a other a, another single word about something free content no just if you're i want you to stop feeling guilty that's the first thing Stop feeling guilty about not posting content. Stop feeling like you're doing something wrong. No, you're not. You're not. It, selling things, launching, gentle launches is what I talk about all the time, right? Doing gentle launches of gently announcing your service, your current service, at least once a month, if not twice a month, to your audience, just one or two posts, you know, once or twice a month is not too much is not too often and it's the lifeblood of your business how are you going to stay in business or or like i said have the energy that hmm, maybe this business could work right if you're in the beginning of your business and you don't have any clients yet just having like someone say yes to your service is like oh my gosh that'll give you energy for months <laughs> perhaps so money is energy as we know and those of you who are here want to build an authentic business. So how does money fit into it? How does income and people buying from you fit into it? Well, it gives you the energy and the validation to continue and to innovate and to serve with, um, with energy, with, with, your, with your heart. If you didn't have any energy coming back to you, it's hard to serve with heart, you know, um, unless you're a completely 100% enlightened saint, which I'm not and most of us aren't. Um, un unless you were perfectly 100% always connected to your source of unconditional love and abundance and energy, most of us aren't, myself included. Um, we need the energy coming back to us. We need some reciprocation from our audience. And money is the strongest signal for a business that there's energy coming back into it. So selling or gentle launches is the lifeblood of your business. That really should be the highest priority. In your business and, and it may, might be surprising for you to hear me say this because you know you've gotten to, to know me as you know, authentic business uh, it's all about service and being good and and uh being generous yes if you had the foundation of some kind of reciprocal energy coming back if you don't have that foundation you burn out very quickly trying to be generous and unconditional love unconditionally loving because you're not a 100% enlightened saint yet, as far as I know. Um, and maybe you are, and please let me learn from you. <laughs> but most of us need the foundation of some reciprocity coming back to us. Otherwise, we were willing, you know, we're going to quit. So selling and gentle launches is the, is the highest priority for building the foundation of your business that you can keep going, both financially keep going, but also, like I said, energetically serve with a with a more abundant heart so that really should be like I, I i hope all of you have a launch calendar that you know i i just assume this to be the case for all of you but i i talk to clients and and my students i'm like what you don't have a launch calendar what what, do you, what really i i'm surprised you know but but, but i shouldn't be surprised because i should talk about this more often and people don't think about this uh, and maybe you don't have a launch calendar. And uh, what's a launch calendar? It, let's just keep it really simple. A launch calendar is simply 
how often every how often do you announce your service now i'm assuming you have only one service but those of you who have multiple services how often do you do you announce each service now like i said once a week on social media and on your email newsletter well if you have an email newsletter and you don't send to them regularly because you're still working up to doing it consistently once a month announcement about your current service or product or program is is probably not too often once every two or three months is definitely not 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 too often but if all you send to your email list if they, if they signed up for free articles free videos from you and all you send to them is a selling thing once a month that might be a little often every two or three months is fine okay um if you're if you're if you're if you're uh, are becoming more consistent, like once a month, you, you provide them some free value, and then you also announce your thing. That's great. That's not too often. Um, on social media, once a week, or at least once every two weeks is not too often to announce your program, your current service, another service of yours, another program you're thinking of launching, a, an event you want to enroll them into. That's not too often. Once every two weeks, definitely not too often. Once a week probably is okay too. Um, I mean, it depends on your feel about whether people are responding to you or not. I think once a week is probably fine for a lot of you. Once every two weeks, definitely not, not too often. So I just want that to be the baseline for you right now. Like, I don't care. I, I do care, but it matters less to me that you're not posting content, that you're not making videos, writing articles, you know, creating podcast episodes. Really, it matters less to me that you're not doing that. It matters more to me that you're not even announcing your service, pro program, product, event, whatever it is you're trying to sell right at this time. It matters more to me that you're not doing that once every two weeks. I'm worried for you. I am because that's the lifeblood of your business. How how will your how, how will your network, how will your audience, your friends, family, colleagues, that's where you start with. You have friends, right? On Facebook. You have like what 10 friends on Facebook? Oh, more than that? Great. You have more than 10 friends on Facebook. That's wonderful, right? So you have lots of friends. You have more than go to your Facebook. How many friends do you have on Facebook? Probably more than 10, I think, right? There you have an audience. That's your audience that you announce to once every two weeks. Yes, it's okay to sell directly on your Facebook profile. Yes, it is. Well, who, terms of service, something. No, I, I, I have, in, in all these years of using Facebook, since 2006, I believe it was, or 2008, one of those two years, I started using Facebook professionally, professionally, uh, at least from 2008 and onward professionally. Um, I have, I, I can't remember a time when, Someone has told me, oh, my Facebook profile got suspended because it was too spammy. I was posting about my services too much. I haven't heard that. I really don't think once every two weeks posting about, hey, everyone, I'm a life coach. I want to let you know. Now, don't post the exact same message every two weeks. That's boring. I, again, I'm assuming you know that, but maybe you, maybe I should clarify this. Obviously, if you're posting the same message every two weeks, who, who wants to see that? Nobody wants to see that. And you're going to get bored yourself. You're like, there's got to be something new to it. So every two weeks, you get to be creative and talk about your life coaching or your energy healing or your consulting or your mentoring or your upcoming program or your online course or your upcoming event. You, you get to talk about it in a different way. You get to be creative there. That's all I'm asking of you is once every two weeks, please talk about what you're selling right now. And to do it in a, in a way that is heartfelt, I mean, of genuine service, because obviously what you're selling is of genuine benefit <laughs> for some of you, even life-saving benefit to somebody, right? Or life-changing benefit to somebody. So it really think about the person whose life is going to be better when they use your service or program or, or group or online course or something like that and write to them and, and have a genuine heartfelt saying, this I made for you let me know if you have any questions you know so don't get fancy stop trying to update your website no one's going to go to your website okay i mean random people go to your website but but and I'll, I'll end with this one i see many of you updating your website too often nobody cares except for you 
Nobody, no, honestly, nobody cares about your website except for you. I, I hear people, update. I'm like, why are you updating your website? Well, did, did someone ask you to update your website? No, I just feel like I, it's not really, it's not really uh, aligned with what I'm offering, right? That's your own thoughts. Nobody else is asking you that. What, what all, all people care about is whatever pla is placed in front of them once every two weeks. All they're going to do is look at your social media post or your email newsletter. That's all they look at. So that's all you have to be concerned about. It, don't worry about your website. I haven't updated my website in years. I mean, in terms of my homepage, it's been the same for at least eight years, my homepage. And I'm sure I can update it. And my about page and service, everything's been the same for years. And it's not 100%. It's not probably not even 80% aligned with what I'm doing right now. But whatever, I don't care. You don't look at my website. And even if you do, you don't really care. What you care is what you see in front of you. When I put it in front of you every two weeks or every four weeks, you're like, oh, George is offering this right now. Oh, okay, good. Should I buy it or not buy it? Should I ask him questions or not? That's all they care about. Stop updating your damn website. I'm sorry. You're wasting time. You're, you're, you're delaying. You know what? You're, the lifeblood of your business is that once every two week or once a week announcement about your service, program, online course, group, event, whatever it is you're selling. If you do this with the person in mind that the thing can really help and you write to them from a heartfelt perspective or speak to them on video, you could do it on video. It could be in writing or on video, or if you have a podcast, do it on a podcast episode, whatever, but once every two weeks. Okay. You got it once every two weeks. And um, yeah, because even if people don't buy, this is a practice. If people might not buy in the first month or two or three that you do this, but they're going to see it and they're going to be reminded and they're going to, the seed has been planted and they might see, they might need to see your announcement in different ways, right? The same announcement said in different ways. They might need to see it six times, which is three months, right? If you do it once every two weeks, right? They might need to see it for three months before they say, you know what? I think I should consider doing that. I should, I think I should buy that. You know, or at the least, they're going to remember you and refer you to a friend who's asking about this kind of thing. So I look forward to seeing uh, your comments below. And, and in fact, here's what I invite you to do. Celebrate you doing this by going, going ahead now. If, it hasn't, if it's been more than two weeks since you've announced something, okay, this is for all of you. If it's been more than two weeks since you've announced something to sell, if you've been inspired by this video, to go ahead and announce something, do your gen do a gentle launch. A gentle launch is just sending one or two messages on social media or email newsletter. Um, do that now. Do that now. Like within the next twenty four hours, do this. It's been more than two weeks, so why are you waiting? Oh, but Saturday is not a good day. No, for forget it. There's the biggest mix misconception about social media. There's a best time to post. There is not a best time to post on social media. But George, I Google it. There's supposed to be BS. I talk about this elsewhere, but it, it's it's BS because even if you post on a Saturday at you know 5 p.m., I don't care. 3 a.m. on Sundays, I don't care because if the post, your post is going to be seen by the people who are engaging with your content, number one. And if it's something that's really interesting to them, it will get seen by more people. That's how the algorithm works. It'll get seen by people on a Tuesday or on a Thursday, even if you post it on a Saturday. Don't worry about timing a post. It's ridiculous, people. It's not true. It's not true. And you think about it, the timing of post, ironically, you post on high traffic times. Your post gets buried because everyone's trying to post on a Tuesday at 9 a.m. It's silly, right? Don't, don't make those excuses, all right? So, so I want you to, if you've been inspired by this, Make a post. I don't care what time of day it is, what day of the week it is. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's all about the fit of the content to the audience anyway. If something does well, it's going to go viral no matter what day you post it, honestly. So make a post if you've been inspired by this. And then give us the link to the post in the comment below to say, I've been inspired by this video. I made an announcement. Here it is. Click on the link to, to see my example. I would love to see it too. So I hope this helps. And uh, content creation, obviously, you know, I talk about this all the time, is a long-term thing. It's really more for personal development. It's more for personal, personal development and the ministry to one's ideal audience, just a ministry of service of, of love. 
Um, and then, but selling is something you have to do once every two weeks, right? So I hope this helps. And thank you so much as always for watching. And I hope you take action on this and look forward to seeing your comment below. All right. See you next time.